In this episode, we'll look at three foundational math functions in Excel that you need to learn so that you can create nice math formulas and build up simple spreadsheets. Let's look at the sum, count, and average functions. They're pretty basic functions and you use them a lot in building up spreadsheets. First is sum. Sum adds a bunch of numbers together. To use it, you type out equals sum open bracket, number one, comma, number two, comma, and so on, close bracket. For example, sum, open bracket, one, comma, two, comma, three, comma, four, close bracket, equals 10. And sum, open bracket, a1, colon, a5, close bracket, equals the sum of numbers in the range a1 to a5. As well as the sum, there is a feature in Excel called AutoSum, which is a bit like magic because it really helps you to make sum fast. And we'll have a look at that soon. Here's a spreadsheet I downloaded from a nice online resource called Vertex42. I changed it a little bit to show just this simple budget page. The original spreadsheet is a lot more detail and you can download it for free from vertex42.com. Okay. Let's zoom in on part of the spreadsheet that looks at income. And we'll see here that there are 12 months of data for salary, dividends, and other income. We want to know what the total is for the year. So we go over to this bit, which is the total column. And we'll use the sum function as we described before. So we'll go equals sum open bracket. And we'll find this cell, which is B13. We'll do a colon and we will specify to, to M13 and close the bracket and press enter. And that gives us the total yearly income, 29,100. We're going to do the same now for dividends. So we'll type in equals sum open bracket B14. So this time we're on row 14, colon. M14, close bracket, enter. So it gives total dividends of 320. And now we're going to do other income. So that equals the sum, open bracket, B15, colon, M15, close bracket, enter. That gives 500 other income. Now what we're going to do is look at the monthly incomes as well. So for January through to December, but instead of typing each of these formulas individually, I'm going to select all of these cells using the mouse. And then I'm going to go and show you this auto sum feature I mentioned earlier. And auto sum is a bit like magic in Excel because it tries to predict what you're trying to sum. And you can find the auto sum feature over here in the top right on the, um, the home ribbon. I'm using Excel 2010 and in Excel 2010, you can see auto sum in the home ribbon up here. So I click auto sum. And what happens is you'll see all of these, uh, all of these cells get populated with the sum the total for the month. We'll just check if they're right. So I'm going to click on the January cell and I'm going to uh, press F2. Here's F2. And it shows that it's the sum of B13 to B15, which is right. I'm going to do that again for February, press F2, and you'll see it says sum of C13 to C15. So the order sum feature, that's a very handy magic feature in Excel, and it tries to predict what you're trying to sum. So that was the sum function. Next is count. Count counts the number of cells in a range. To use it, you type out equals count open bracket range of cells or your values. Note that only cells with numbers are counted. For example, count open bracket one, two, three, four, five, six, hello, seven, eight, close bracket equals eight. So the count of that ignores the, the text value hello. If you want to count blank cells, you'd use count blank instead of count. 
This counts all the blank cells in your specified range. And if you want to count all cells that aren't blank, you could use count A. This function counts all the cells with values inside them, including text, numbers, and formulas. Back to our spreadsheet. Okay, let's count the number of months in which there is an income figure. So the first row here, we've got salary. And we've got salary, of course, coming in through every single month. So if we do a count, it should come out with 12. Let's do the formula. Formula equals count, open bracket, and B13, colon, M13, close bracket. So that will count all of those months and find out how many numerical values are in those months. Press enter, you come up with 12. So that's good. Uh, I'm now going to count how many times a number appears in the next row. So I'll go equals count open bracket B14 colon M14 close bracket enter. And that comes up with two. So there are two months in which there were dividends. Finally, let's do that with other income. We'll go equals count open brackets B15 colon M15 close bracket. Enter. And that shows that there were five months in which there were there was an income figure for other income. Just to show you what the count blank function does, uh, which I mentioned earlier, count blank counts a number of blank cells. So in this case, if I go equals count blank, open bracket, B13 to M13, close bracket, should come up with zero. And I'll copy that down with control D. Control D copies down from the, the cell above. So you'll see the these two add up to 12, these two add up to 12, and these two add up to 12, which is good. Right, so what if we wanted to, to count uh, cells that don't just have numbers? Let's say we wanted to have a look down here. How many of these expense types do we have? Um, of course, you could go and individually count them, which is rent, utilities, internet, groceries, eating out, etc., 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 etc. So there's 10 of these. But if you wanted a function to do that, we could try the count function, see what that does. So we'll go count A19 colon A, oops, sorry, A28 close bracket. That comes out with zero. That's because count only counts numbers. It's the count A function that you want to use if you're counting anything that's not just numbers, but text and formulas as well. So we'll try that equals count a open bracket. Again, we'll go a 19 colon a 28 close bracket, enter. And this time you see it's counted 10 different cells and that's correct. So that was the count function. Finally, let's look, a, uh, let's take a look, a look. <laughs> let's take a look at average. The average function takes the average of your given set of numbers, but it ignores blank cells. And we'll see what this means a bit later in our example spreadsheet. Average, you can use by going equals average, open bracket, number one, number two, and so on, close bracket. As an example, you could use average, open bracket, two, comma, four, comma, six, close bracket, and that gives you four. Or average, open bracket, A1, colon, A5, close bracket, gives you the average of numbers in the range A1 to A5. Now let's get back to our spreadsheet. You'll notice that we already have the monthly average calculated in column O. So over here, 2,425, 27, and 42. Let's try to do the same thing using the average function. So we'll go to this cell, we'll type in equals, average, open bracket, same as before, B13, colon, M13, close bracket, enter. That gives 2,425, so that's good. 
going to copy that formula down here and here. Hang on a moment. Do you see what I see? We've got a different number in the average column. So why is that? Well, the average formula ignores blank cells. So it pretends that cells which are blank don't have a zero in them. But the formula in this cell takes into account blank cells. Because if there's a blank cell, it counts that as zero. So that's something you've got to watch out for when you use the average function. Uh, just to show you what, how to correct this, if I've got the average of cells B14 to M14, and I want the, this to actually work as a monthly average for the year, then I've got to go in and fill out, or uh, wherever it's blank, I've got to fill out a zero. Uh, so I'll do this quickly by going, selecting that range, go special, Clicking there, uh, I'm going to do blanks, go OK. Now I'm going to type in a zero, control enter, that fills in zeros everywhere I've selected. And so you'll see the average comes out right if I've got a zero everywhere that there isn't any income. But if I don't have a zero, then the average looks wrong. So just be aware of that. OK, one last quick little tip on how you can do a quick sum or a quick count or a quick average. If you select a bunch of cells like this, you can head down to the status bar here. And you'll see that there's an average, a count, and a sum. You can choose to customize this by right clicking, and I'll show you the options you can use to customize. You can do an average, you can do a count, numerical count, minimum, maximum, sum. So, a very handy way to do a quick average, a quick count, or a quick sum in Excel. If you're keen to learn Excel formulas fast, I recommend you check out an ebook from Excel expert Chandu. It's called Excel Formula One, and you can read more about it on launchexcel.com forward slash formula one. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Excel videos from Launch Excel.